At the end of last year, the IIHS conducted a strange crash test. They took an old pickup truck model, stuffed its trunk with some heavy objects, so to say to the gills, and smashed it against the wall. The result was not very good. Naturally, all the weights flew into the cabin, posing a risk of death for passengers and the driver. However, everyone already knew that this would happen. Oddly enough, this campaign is closely connected with electric cars. What was this crash test about? And how can an electric car save your life? The crash test of the old pickup did not demonstrate the best results. However, everything went as planned. Everyone has known about the danger of loose cargo for a long time. Checking old models is also not the prerogative of the IIHS. The fact is that this time it was not a car that was tested at all. They checked the installation itself for crash tests. A pickup truck was loaded with heavy junk to determine if the installation could withstand a collision with a car weighing over 9,000 pounds. Do you know why? Because some electric vehicles like the GMC Hummer EV have already surpassed that figure. And if we take the Rivian R1T, which weighs only 7,100 pounds, it still holds the record for the heaviest weight of anyone tested by the IIHS. Thus, the Institute decided to check whether they are ready for this. And now, we come to the most important feature of electric cars, which will always be their advantage in collisions with conventional cars. They will always be heavier and larger than ICE cars, and in most cases, that means safer. The main reason why electric cars differ in parameters from their fuel-powered counterparts is the huge lithium-ion batteries. The longer the promised mileage on a single charge, the more massive the battery. What's more, most often they are located underneath the car, reducing the center of gravity, which further enhances inertia. And when collided with a lighter car, an electric one will always be safer for those inside. The IIHS clearly showed the importance of size and weight in the 2019 series of crash tests. Then, experts collided the average SUV, small Kia Forte, and Toyota Yaris IA 2018, which previously received good crash test scores. But it turned out that in a collision with heavier cars, they are no longer able to effectively protect the driver as well as the passengers. This is confirmed by IIHS statistics on deaths in road accidents. The heavier the car is, the lower the chances of dying in it. Moreover, the statistic on weight and size look almost the same. The 2021 Volvo XC40 Recharge small SUV showed a high level of safety in a crash test and even received the Institute's highest top safety pick plus award. We should know that in this ranking, you will also find the all-electric Audi e-tron, Audi e-tron Sportback, and Tesla Model 3. You would catch us being insincere if we forgot about the common statement, electric cars are more fire hazardous. Nevertheless, we have to dispel this myth. This opinion has most likely developed due to the media, which reports on virtually every battery car fire. But the statistics say otherwise. According to both the Bureau of Transportation Statistics and the National Transportation Safety Board, there were 1,529.9 fires per 100,000 fuel-powered vehicles and only 25.1 fires per 100,000 electric vehicles. And these are not the only studies that prove that the problem is overblown by the media. In matters of safety, the insurance studies of the Highway Loss Data Institute put an end to all these discussions as they claim that even your chances of getting into an accident in an electric car are lower than in cars with internal combustion engines. Moreover, the NHTSA claims that passengers of the EV are slightly less likely to get injured than passengers of gasoline as well as diesel vehicles. You most likely still have a question. What should drivers and passengers of ordinary cars do? The answer is the next to switch to electric cars. And that's not sarcasm. In fact, it is not the weight that is dangerous, but the difference in weight between cars. Therefore, the faster we all switch to electric cars, the faster the weight characteristics of cars will even out. What do you think? Should humanity give up huge and heavy electric pickups for the sake of everyone's safety? Or is it not likely to happen? <laughs>